power. Nice. That's what I did with GameStop for two years. Damn, I won't be getting on Diablo until like three. <laughs> Xbox and Snap. <sighs> My connect is actually pretty good about listening to me. It's not a rebellious cunt like yours. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully soon. Like I said, I was hoping to do it this week purely because I'm off all week. But now that I've got the job at a restaurant and training, my schedule is about to get a lot more fucked. Monday. I thought you guys had Abby till Sunday. I got told I have to watch my language. I'm down for coming up this weekend if it's cool with you guys. I mean, yeah, you'd have to come pick me up, but... Mr. Toad? Well, whatever works best for you guys. Sounds good. Then Big B, before he completely tears up the place. What's up, Panda? Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. It's gonna be like that for a very long time. It's not what you might be thinking. Have so you, you count as one. Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Come with me. Um, because some people might not actually have accounts. But they can still count as views. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Yeah. Don't change the subject. You. No, when I started streaming, I had moderate success right off the bat. My first day, I had 12 viewers purely because I was playing Outlast, which is a fucking incredible game. Um, but then if you play just about anything else, Outlast. It's a game I'll uh license transfer to you guys when I come up this weekend. It's fucking... It's an indie game. It's 20 bucks. Um, it is the scariest fucking game I've ever played. And... Yeah. Yes. Mental Asylum. Yeah. Dude, it's such a fucking good game. Oh yeah, because everybody wants to see you react and see how the game is, and then, um, but then, I mean, you play games like Destiny and Call of Duty and shit, and nobody gives a fuck about it, so you'll have, like, one or two viewers or whatever, but, um, for, like, four months, it took me four months to get up to 50 followers, which is excruciatingly slow, considering that to partner with Twitch, you have to have 500, um, but then Forza Horizon 2 came out, and I went from 50 to 238 followers in a week. You just gotta find your game, your niche. Um, and then the more followers you get, the more traffic you start to get because there's more viewers and shit. But it's... It's such a slow process. Like, I'm still not even at 500. I have still only get like 3 to 5 viewers on average.
Nice. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to the point where I can partner with somebody like that. Um, Panda, I'm gonna play Chapter 2 of The Wolf Among Us, like I said. Um, and then I'm actually kind of feeling Diablo with Nuke. Um, now that I'm back into that. He's gotta go to the doctor, though. So I might play Wolf Among Us Chapter 2, Grand Theft Auto, and then when Nuke gets back, uh, Diablo. And then later tonight, uh, probably another group of, uh, Forza players. That's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Are uh, you talking about hosting? It's, um, what hosting is, is, unfortunately, because when I first read it, I thought it was that too, but it's not. Hosting is, for instance, if I'm offline, like if I'm going to work or if I'm in bed or whatever, but you're going to be up a lot later than me streaming, I can host your account. So anybody who logs in to look at me will automatically get redirected to you. But we can't, I can't broadcast and host at the same time. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just <laughs> cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Big B. I'm gonna party with Nuke Panda. <clears throat> what is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. Must be He's used to it because of my usual group of people, uh, Dalton, Dale, and Brian. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? Yeah. No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. so good. De Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. 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 
We have to go now. Do you guys have an extra TV? Or do I need to bring that as well? Where it, I'll probably just bring mine up then since I'm used to it. Oh, I thought you were still talking to Eden. Let's go for Thursday. Shoot for Thursday, um, A, because I don't feel like squishing my ass between two car seats, um, B, because I gotta go out and get, like, my work uniform and shit tonight to get ready for next week, um, so yeah, let's shoot for Thursday. Do to her. She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours, and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Do you have a bearded dragon? I've got a bearded dragon too. He's like six years old. He, he knows how to take care of himself. I just drop um, food and water in and he chills. He's got a heat rock too for when the heat lamp's not on. Mine doesn't really like greens and strawberries and shit. He'll eat them if I've deliberately pulled away his mealworms to try to convince him to eat the shit. But, um... Yeah, um... I adopted him from Mikey. And it's actually a pretty fucking funny story. But, um... It's Mike's bearded dragon. Mike moved out, you know, was living in his own place, got a dog, some cats. Um, the cats clawed through the mesh and jumped in the cage with Mufasa to try to kill him. And Mufasa beat the shit out of the cats. So, when Mikey came home... He... <laughs> Fine. We, um... We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. But, um, so when Mikey got home, like, three hours later, the cat was in the corner, like, cringing, and Mufasa was all puffed up, beard out, and everything, and anytime the cat would move, Mufasa would jump at it. And so, they pulled the cat out, but since the mesh was entirely destroyed, um, Mikey just brought him over here, so he doesn't have a lid, which is why I don't do crickets. They're loud, obnoxious, and I don't want them to get out. I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved.